Hello, I'm Matt Barton and welcome to Matt Chat number two. Uh, this week we're talking about one of the best adventure games of all time. Uh, certainly one of the most difficult, Mist. Uh, this is the 10th anniversary DVD edition that we'll be uh, looking at today. It has a little bit better graphics uh, than the original. I will warn you that if you want to play Mist on a Vista machine, you are in for some considerable toil. It took me a couple days to get this uh, running properly. Uh, the key to it is to roll back your version of QuickTime to 4.0. And that seemed to do the trick uh, that and you might want to tinker around with your um, compatibility settings. I'm the co-author uh, with my friend and colleague Bill LeJudas of Vintage Games. Uh, this is a book that talks about some uh, 30 odd uh, really great games, really influential games, um, including Myst. I guess it's on chapter here. So if you like what you see uh, here today, um, please check this out. It should be coming arriving in uh, bookstores in just a few weeks. And then, of course, I'm also the author of Dungeons and Desktops, a book about uh, computer role playing games. Um, if you're interested in this stuff, I highly recommend that you visit our website at armchairarcade.com. Dot com where we have uh, many blogs and articles and a uh, you know, great community of people interested in these classic games. Okay, so without further ado, let's turn to Myst. starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. Kyan's 1993 masterpiece, Myst, is one of the most definitive, important adventure games ever made, if not one of the most important games, period. It was the best-selling game of all time until uh, The Sims finally overtook it in 2002. Um, had very wide, massively broad appeal, um, and it was also said to be one of the primary reasons for the uh, shift to CD-ROM as the storage format of choice. There are lots of things that make Myst special. Uh, one thing that you probably noticed already from these clips is the almost total lack of an interface. Uh, you may remember um, a game like uh, Monkey Island or Maniac Mansion where you would have lots of uh, options to click on the bottom of the screen um, other games like ICOM, Simulation, Deja Vu, you had a pretty elaborate uh, window interface with all sorts of icons and uh, drop-down menus. Here all we really have is that mouse pointer, that little hand. Um, you don't have an inventory system. You <laughs> just click on a, a few objects on the screen, so you move around just by clicking various hot spots. It's a very simple, very intuitive interface, and I'm sure that's one of the reasons this had such a broad appeal to people who don't normally play games. And this is something anybody could pick up and play in just a matter of minutes. As you can see here, we're already getting into the soul of Mist, which is all of these mysterious inexplicable machines uh, lying around like this uh, display device. Uh, we, The uh, object of this game, or the, most of the gameplay, consists of finding clues, 
um, experimenting with these machines in a scientific manner. Uh, there's very little in the way of narrative, but there is some, and um, I'm going to show you some here. So as you can see here, these brothers are asking you to bring them a page, a red or blue page, and uh, it's up to you to figure out what happened to these brothers. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leave to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. So lots of things that the player is supposed to pick up on there. Uh, one is there's a little strange triangle here between father and his sons. Uh, there's obviously a villain, but we don't know who. Maybe the father is the uh, bad guy. Maybe it's one of the brothers. Uh, we really don't know. Uh, the way to find out is to be very observant of details as you explore this world and see if what the brothers tell you, if what the father tells you corresponds to what you see. Another thing that's about myths that some people enjoy and some people uh, <laughs> detest is that it's not really clear uh, what order you should do things in, uh, where you should go, uh, what's the purpose of any particular machine. It's not always obvious to you. Um, so you have to think inductively here. So we, for example, here we have some sort of electrical generation. Uh, you saw a couple of numbers. has something to do with the spaceship and some switches. Uh, so what we have to do is um, take some notes and then as we explore other parts of the world, see if we can find any clues that correspond. Um, so what's the combination to the safe? Uh, what's up uh, with this gas uh, machine here? Something to do with the, that tree in the picture, perhaps. Uh, so you're always wondering wondering about, taking notes, making observations, and that's the essence of the gameplay. So you probably noticed uh, throughout this initial world all these little switches, and the purpose of these switches is to mark locations on this map uh, that I just clicked, and that will allow me to rotate the tower and <laughs> when it reaches the red lines, I will find uh, some clues. So here I'm going into the into the tower and see what kind of clue I can find. As you can see, we're being treated to one of the quick time movies that are sprinkled throughout Mist and Ribbon live action sequences. These were <laughs> very impressive stuff back in 1993. So here we are, 2 colon 40, 2, 2, 1. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, what does that correspond to? So if you're astute enough, you might think back, well, what about that tower with the clock? Uh, maybe that's what that corresponds to. So there you have it, folks. Mist, one of the most influential adventure games of all time. It's a huge game with a diverse array of puzzles and locations and scenes and just a great game is still fun to play even in 2009. So, hope to see you next week, and that's all for today's Matt Chat.